Hello and welcome to another update video about Matic. So yeah, on the Matic chart, it's just following the roadmap, you could say. Um, it looks like it needs another drop here. This move up looks very similar to what we had actually here. Um, it's moving in resistance, the break of the trend line. So we had that trend line on the chart. I did explain to you that a break of the trend line could lead to a bit of a rally. We see a little bit of a rally, nothing substantial though. So it all looks corrective. Um, so the trend line breakout was a potential signal here for higher prices into our resistance area and um, was a sign for this immediate sell off to, to, to basically come to a halt temporarily. But it is seen currently only as a wave four. So it looks corrective. Resistance is all the way up to 55.2 cents. So as long as the price stays below that level, this wave count is unaffected and the projection of at least another low into the region, you could say between 41 and 48.6 cents is very much alive. Um, the projection shows that, yeah, we could actually come down more into the region around 41, 43 cents down here. But we'll see. Um, essentially, what we are doing now anyway, um, because we already made a new low here on the 11th of September below the 10th of June low, yeah, which was what we wanted essentially. So it technically doesn't need another low. It's just that the microstructure and what's currently happening um, or happened since these lows, that certainly makes another low at the moment um, quite likely in my opinion. Yeah, Again, it's just corrective, corrective messy price action, which again looks very similar to what we did here. At some point, we will see an impulse to the upside and then we can look if the wave two pullback is holding. But at the moment, um, yeah, we are basically far away from that. I don't see an impulse and we are also still below resistance. So the forecast to the downside is preferred. And the next key support levels that you are also aware of, they are 48.6 cents, 46.5 and then even 41 cents. And then pay attention to the larger trend line here. I'm not sure how relevant that is going to be. But when the price is approaching that one and breaking above it, that could also um, yeah, take us above this previous wave four high, the end of August high. And if we get there in an impulse, so in five waves, then yeah, we might consider that this overall correction is over and that we might go back in a third wave rally, which would be very bullish because at the moment we're counting that as a wave two correction, which should really be very close to finishing, right? I mean, I'm not suggesting this goes down much lower, ideally not, but at the same time, until we have really a, uh, you know, a, a proper bottoming structure in place followed, well, bottoming structure I'm highlighting here, we need a decent low, which we have. Yeah, it, it made a lower low below the previous one, which is what we wanted and have been waiting for for many, many weeks. But now it's all about, OK, we, we need that bottoming structure, which means we need a five wave move to the upside to confirm to us that a new uptrend has possibly started followed by a decent three wave pullback, which can hold support. That's what we need to see. And then we can confirm that something different is going on until then, which is currently here following the roadmap. And we're currently following the plan to lower prices. Um, quick outlook here, maybe at the, let's say the weekly chart, which, you know, um, we started to develop for various, let's say promising, more promising projects and charts um, currently looking as if the Bear market low is already in here in June 22. Yeah, this was a wave four pullback. It reacted to the 38.2 retracement level at the time at 28.7 cents. Mm, but it could also be that this wave four is still in the making. This is currently something we need to see. Obviously, on the shorter time frame count that I just showed you, if the price breaks below 41 cents, which is sort of the lowest it should really go, then I have to assume that on the weekly chart also the wave four will be reset a little lower. Um, that's basically a short term key support at 41 cents because below 41 cents, a test of the June 22 lows will become very likely. And if we do that, it's very likely it's going to break. But then you can see on this chart, there is not, not, not really long term anything bearish on this chart uh, as long as the price is still holding 14 cents. So that's the potential. Should 41 cents break, it could come down to 14 cents in this larger degree scenario. But for now, I assume the bear market lows are already in. But short term, we still focus on lower. And we're observing if the 41 cent level is holding to prevent a reset of this larger degree fourth wave. Certainly the local trend is still down at the moment. Nothing bullish short term at the moment. Yeah, that's my update about Matic. I hope you liked the update. 
If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.